good morning good morning lovely people today i'm going to make some pork chops and the first thing i'm going to do is rinse these pat them dry and then i'm going to show you my seasoning mix now this is a family pack um and it has like uh let's see five a little bit over five pounds i'm gonna season all of it okay guys so i have rinse and pat dry my pork chop. These are thin pork chops, by the way. So what I have here is um, minced garlic that I, fresh that I did myself. I have here about two tablespoons of um, oregano. This is really good oregano. And I have here two and a half, whoops, lemons. They're big lemons. And I have the juice of them. You see how much juice I have there? Um, so that's what, oh, a half a cup, I'm going to say, is of, uh, of lemon juice. And then I have salt. Now, the rule of thumb for every pound of meat is a teaspoon of salt, depending on the salt, how coarse it is. Um, but what I wanted to share with you, when I am using any kind of citrix in my seasoning, I don't like to use a vessel that's metal because that it starts kind of eating through when you act, let it sit. So I like to use something like this. Um, so I'm going to get ready to put everything in my little oyster uh, blender. I have here about roughly three tablespoons of the garlic. I'm going to dump everything in here with a little bit of oil. Just okay, now we're ready to blend. But look at what you see what it looks like. The oil is just basically just to help it blend well and for it for me to be able to take it out of here easily. So off we go. And let me just say I only added three teaspoons of salt because this salt tends to be, uh, does the job pretty quickly. So I didn't wanna go with the one teaspoon per pound. Just an FYI. Cause once, if you mess it up and you put too much, you can't fix salty food. We're gonna do is pour it on here make sure everything is nice coated nicely coated and um, cover it and let it sit on at room temperature until you're ready and there you have it guys ready and prepped for dinner this afternoon okay guys so I just put my pork chops in the ninja foodie and it's been in there for a couple maybe about five minutes and I'm just doing the air crisp so just so you know, and I'll show you in a little bit. In between, I'm gonna go halfway and open it and turn it on its other side. And um, we'll bring you back in All right, guys, let's have a peek. I turned them over and now we're gonna look. Remember, these are thin, so you don't wanna overcook them because then they get dry. Oh my Lord, that. Now that is what I call on point, buddy, on point. I'm just gonna turn them one more time. So if there's any bits that look kind of pale, like that one, it could get up a little bit of color. But after that, we are ready to serve. Guys, this looks amazing. And there you have it. If you like this video, you know what to do. But whatever you do, please give it a thumbs up because it helps my channel grow. Have a blessed day.